Oh my gosh, give it to us! Yeah, if you want to know my answer to that, you're going to have to wait till I'm 12 shots deep in a previous video because I just cannot do it again. I cannot do it again. It's very hard I to say. I don't know if I want to see. Biggest player you've ever met. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! T, I can't wait to put that in my video. Oh my Stunning. I like. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany's dying. I'm not, why did I start choking right when that happened? I'm glad I've only seen him in passing. <clears throat> That's all I have to say. If I saw him in passing, all right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing, fantastic, beautiful, blessed day. Um, if you're new here, I'm not usually in this setting. I am actually in Mexico. I have some explaining to do, a lot of explaining to do. We will get to that in another video on another day. Um, but for now, I apologize for any noise, like from the wind. There's also a lot of dogs here, like that you can hear barking. Out in the background, there's also humans kind of everywhere, so. It's fine, we're just giving a show today. So it's going well, this place is beautiful. Obviously there's like a pool back here. It's great, I have my coffee, it's a little chilly. Hopefully the sun doesn't set while I am doing this, but I have a really fun two part video for you today. So since I've only been here for like a day or two, I don't have a vlog for you yet. I will have a vlog for you soon of what's going on, hopefully. But uh, in the meantime, I do have a video with my friend Michaela that I recorded a few weeks back that I want to share with you because it's honestly freaking hilarious and I needed a good laugh just like watching it through anyway. So it's gonna be perfect. We're gonna we're gonna do a little truth or drink with Michaela here in a few minutes. But before we get into that, I wanted to quickly thank Legend London for sponsoring this video. If you guys aren't familiar with Legend London, they're a freaking amazing jeans brand. You guys have actually seen me wearing Legend London since like the UK days. So the UK days, maybe a little bit after UK days, definitely in Canada. I worked with them when I lived in Canada, so like three years now. Um, I literally wear Legend London all the time. You guys have seen it, but I wanted to do a little mini try on haul to show you some of the things that they sent over to me. And if you are interested in shopping for Legend London, whether it be around Christmas or just in the upcoming year, uh, then I have a couple clips to show you of some of my favorite items that they sent, as well as the jeans that I'm wearing. These are the first ones that I show you uh, in the clip. So I'm gonna show you a couple wonderful outfits. If you want to shop, I will leave my code right here on the screen for you uh, to get a discount from Legend London. And, 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 I will leave the name and the sizing of the jeans on all these. Let's get right into it. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do some drinking and answering some questions with Michaela. And hopefully you love it. So here we go. This is the first pair right here. These are the skinny jean. I believe they're in the color Azor Blue and they're the ones that I'm wearing right now, as you can see. Honestly, I have not taken them off. So those are gonna be first. These fit so freaking well on your waist. The color's perfect. They're a little bit short on me, like they hit me right at the ankle, but they're they're really flattering, so I don't mind. Um, and they don't gape at the waist, which is the biggest thing. Like if you're a girl that, you're in the gym, you have a little bit of a butt, I'm not saying I have a big one, because I definitely don't. Um, but if you find that like jeans fit your butt and fit your legs, but don't fit your waist, then Legend London honestly is super, super helpful. Only I think one pair of these jeans that you'll see that really gape at my waist or like are too big, and I definitely could have size down in them. So I'll point those out, but I would say of all of them, these are probably my like everyday must have. If you're gonna choose a pair of jeans, choose these. And guys, they are really, really soft and comfy to wear all day. Like I'm not someone that wants to wear jeans all day, but I can definitely wear these ones all day long. Um, so this is my first pick right here. A car alarm, really? I am not one that loves mom jean, especially not a cropped mom jean. I find they look like capris normally or like something yet. So I actually love these though. I don't know why. I feel like they make your butt look really, really good and like bigger than it is, which we love. They cut off at a normal length. Again, a little bit short on me, but I wore them yesterday with like sneakers and they were fine. I feel like they look really cute. And the rip in the knee actually hits me on my knee. So my legs are pretty long. <laughs> and normally if I get a ripped jean, the rip will be like on my thigh. Um, and these ones fit really well. They are like a loose fit, a mom jean, but they fit in the waist. So love that. These ones are like a lighter wash. They're really, really cute. And like I said, they make your butt look really good and they're comfortable so another big plus and now we have another pair of like the more cropped mom jeans so i believe that these are like the same fit as the ones that have the um rip in the knee these ones just don't obviously have the rip and they're in that darker color so i feel like these are just a really good everyday staple especially these with a pair of like strappy heels they'd be solid and again really really comfy good mom jean that's not like hanging off of you like they don't look too big, which I hate in a mom jean. I want them to be tight in the right places, but comfortable. And then next up, we just have some comfy clothes. So these are really, really fun. These are actually all, other than the white hoodie, these are all from the men's section. So this first item is this like gray acid wash one. And I put on the joggers 
that match it and I love like a matching jogger hoodie set like that however this is a men's set and because of that the joggers just did not fit me properly like those joggers are <laughs> the men's joggers aren't made for like a girl with a small waist and a big butt like by any means um if you like have any bigger of a butt than me you probably won't be able to get them over your butt um and I think I got a men's small in those as well um and they also don't fit high-waisted again because they are made for men but the material is really really nice really high quality feels heavy feels good um but for guys again legend london really goes for like a fitted style for men um it is like an eu uk brand so keep that in mind um if you're shopping for a guy check out their website first a lot of their stuff is very fitted and even the the joggers on men on their website fit tight um whereas i generally go for more of like a baggy one so i'm wearing the long sleeve women's bodysuit and there's two of them so the first one that i'm showing you is a size medium you're gonna see what i mean the size medium is too big that's just what they had in stock um when they sent me these they had a medium and i was able to compare some really good things about this bodysuit a super warm really really thick like high quality nice nice material it almost feels like a tight sweater like i don't know i don't know how to explain it it's very very thick and that zipper has a lock it's like a lock zipper so that if you like put it down here <laughs> It's not going anywhere, it's not gonna move, you're not gonna pop out of it. Um, so that part's really fantastic. And they're just really, really warm. Um, something to note about them, however, you're gonna see me in the small one now in black, is the like actual bodysuit cut, like where it comes up your hip, like right here, is very, very high. So on the Legend London site, and like there's lots of companies that do this, it's in style to have like your hip showing almost, and like what that gap looks like. So I would just keep that in mind. Um, if you're not somebody that wants to see that like, skin right there then these might be a little bit too high for you i don't mind it um especially if i'm wearing like the black jeans with the black bodysuit or something i think it's kind of cute to show a little bit of something um, but you definitely would want to wear a high-waisted jean with these uh, because otherwise you are going to see that little line so if you're between sizes size down the arms were tight and the small but it was 100 percent worth it because it fit me um, a lot better around the waist when i sized down um, and honestly, I just love Legend London. I've been a fan of them for so, so long. Um, I know the owner, he's amazing. Like just a really, really cool, cool company to support. Um, and I'm grateful that, you know, they're sponsoring this video for us. So go give them some love, check them out. Um, I will leave their link uh, to their website as the very first link in the description and as a pinned comment with my code, if you guys want to check them out. And without further ado, I love you so much. Let's drink some rosé. Here we go. Um, name something illegal that you've done and regret. I'm <laughs> drinking. I am not saying any of that on the internet. No way. Oh my gosh, wait. Remember the thing I told you about the airport? The thing that was in my yes. bag that had to be removed? Since it was removed, is that kind of... <laughs> I mean, I didn't do that. But it was removed. So it must have been illegal. I'm not saying that on the internet. Never mind. Never mind. Just drink. No. No. We're both drinking because we can't say that on the internet. Mm. Have you ever taken any gear? No. No. Never. No, not for me. All natural. Well, they were taking like a freaking <laughs> burn from ghost. What is that? Why, why am I blanking on the word? A thermogenic. Mm. That's it. The only thing I've ever taken is creatine. Oh yeah. And I Olympians know. can literally take that, so. Yep, anyone. For all the haters, Michaela has more legit muscle than anyone I've ever met in my whole entire life. Thank and you. I met her before she had it. Thank you. Yeah, she did. She met me when I was a little shrimpy. Literally, shrimpy. I Built it all. And also, can we just take a moment to talk about the fact that muscle is more dense than fat, aka it weighs more than fat, because I get so many people in my DMs being like, how do you weigh 165? Mm -hmm. Yes, I weigh 165, and that's totally fine. That's okay. It doesn't mean that you're overweight. I'm just mm -hmm. putting it out there real quick. That might just be because I'm tipsy, but I just get... No. No, you're passionate about that, though. No. Because the scale means so little, like in reference no. to your progress, it really does. It means nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zero. No. Zero. Oh, have you hooked up at a bar? Like at a bar? Or like met some, well, let's just interpret what that as met someone at a bar and took them home. No. Well, I've never had a one night stand that's like so one night standy that I met someone that night, took them home and never talked to them again. That's never happened to me. I have. I'm drinking. Um, <laughs> I've always talked to them after, or I think, yeah, I think we've always spoken after, like I knew them before or something. Biggest player you've ever met. <laughs> Respect to both of you. Thank you. Oh, you. Love, love um, biggest <laughs> I have a code name for the biggest player I've ever met. 
But I can't even say his code name. I can't some even, people know what it I can, is. Well, I can't even say the first half of his code name because people will assume it's one of two oh, people. Oh, of course. So just stay here. <laughs> I know we're, okay, Bears. I'm gonna say it this way. We both know two, yeah. two specifically, one's in our brain. Yeah. Gigantic players that you would never that you would never know never expect never. they were a player. No. You would never even no. no. You would never no. know. When you, if you found out, you would be like, you're lying. Yeah. Prove it. You'd literally be you like, believe it. where are the receipts? Receipts. Give them to me. Well, we have them. We, have them. <laughs> we both have them. Yes. <laughs> Look at our DMs. Ew, bye. I'm done. Bye. 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 Oh Alrighty. my god. Um, biggest player I've ever actually met. Um, they're usually professional athletes. Oh god. Professional usually. athletes. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sure there's a few like sweet ones. Oh my god, there's a hair on my lip. You guys. I'm sure there's a few nice ones out there, but there's a lot of players. Don't be impressed by a blue no. check mark. Oh my god, I'm so actually honestly, the blue check marks, I just look and I go, the the thought process is never do I reply? It's always mm, do I just pretend I never saw it or do I press accept that this so they know I saw it and I didn't answer. reply? Because there's nothing quite as satisfying as hurting the ego of a player. The amount of times that all they'll say is something so, so... Sheesh. Or, mm, remember that one mm. I told you about the other oh, day? <laughs> wait, wait, I, I got one. I got one recently with yeah. a verified person who I just can't. I literally can't. It was at 12 in the morning and it literally said W-Y-D. What are you doing? If I'm you, sorry. If you ever say that? I'm an adult. I'm not replying. It's the minimal effort. Like, if you put effort in, I'll... I'll yeah, if you're well, like, hi. When I, mean, I was single. Yeah. When I was single. If you put up for it in, I would reply. Mm -hmm. But if you DM me with an opener, like mm, replying mm -hmm. to my story, sick. Bye. I'm sorry. Fire emoji. And then you go to their profile and they don't even follow you and they were just stalking you. Yes, like, that's my favorite. That's particular. Every time somebody like interesting slides in our DMs and we we're like, oh, who is that? And and the first thing we always ask this whole week, we've been like, oh, do, does he even follow you? No. No, and they never. never do. They're just being creepers because they know if they follow someone on Insta, then the person they're actually probably mm -hmm. dating will know. Biggest players. If they're not following you, that's how you know. That's how you know they're That's the tea. I've been drinking a lot of this wine. We're, oh, we're nearing the next bottle. Do you, is there a brand that you regret working with or had a bad experience with? Oh, can I see it? I, uh, you can. Gymshark. What? You probably already know this. It's probably in the title. <laughs> oh god. Love. Anxiety. Love. We, she's not gonna tell a story, but. No, mm -hmm. it's a long story, but me and Gymshark. I love a lot of, like, I'm friends with a lot of the athletes. A lot of the people that work there I'm friends with. I just had a very bad, bad experience. So I just, it really just tainted my view of them. So, yeah. Not like a family vibe. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Everyone. I only have one, and I won't say the name of the brand because it's actually a huge brand that sells like tons of random things. Mm -hmm. um, but I just had a brand that like we had agreed on like a posting date, like the date because you like up front you usually submit content on like X date, mm -hmm. and then you agree on like I'm gonna post on Y date, whatever. Mm -hmm. and there was a brand that I had agreed to those things, and then my mom was sick, and like I was dealing with like some really serious family stuff um, at home, and I just couldn't do it. And I was like, hey, I need to push this back a month, like there's no way that I can make it happen. And every single day, the contact from the brand messaged me on Instagram and emailed me every single day after I had said, this is the date that I can submit it, I'm so sorry it's late, like I just can't make this happen, like mentally, I'm, I can't record a YouTube video right now. Every single day they messaged me, on Instagram and on email. And then when it got closer to the date, it wasn't even the date that I had committed to. When it actually got closer, I got a text from this person that was like, hi, just confirming, da 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 And I had already confirmed 10 times and they they texted me. And it was literally at midnight because they were in a different what? time zone, oh midnight. And I, I was like, so that means they got my contract, they got my phone number from my contract with them. I didn't offer the phone number as a form of communication. No. They just texted they just me. Found it. And I replied and I was like, hi, um, this is really inappropriate. We've agreed on a date. Please don't text me at midnight on a Sunday. <laughs> I will submit the video on the agreed upon date. And it sucks because sometimes you really love the product that you're promoting, or sometimes you really love the brand, but then your contact there ruins the experience for me for you. Like that, that happens often. often. Mm -hmm. oh. When oh no, I can't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one? 
time you saw your ex. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I saw technically mine. Oh no, I have to I have to tread carefully here. The ex that YouTube knows about, yeah. I have not seen in years. The ex that YouTube doesn't know about, I saw him like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we adore him. He's great. He's yes, we like, like him. an angel. He's From like America. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's confirmed. <Yeah>. American. <laughs> Moving the on. other one, it's been years. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. Um. <laughs> my. Well, I haven't seen except for in passing, like my most recent ex, and then the one before that, um, we like went for a walk before he moved away because mm -hmm. I think we just needed to clear up some things and we whatever. But it was very like it wasn't anything toxic or anything like that. Yeah. Like that was just like whatever. have your last condom. Yeah. And yeah. the other guy can literally. I don't care. Like <laughs> I've seen him and I'm just like I literally cannot. I like my <laughs> Brittany's dying. <laughs> not, why did I start choking right when that happened? I'm glad I've only seen him in passing. <coughs> That's all I have to say. If I saw him in passing, we'd have words. Words. Boom. Words. Anyway. Okay. I feel like your questions are a little juicier than mine right now. So we're going to give you like the next three. Mm -hmm. I just don't know which one. What's a turn person? off that someone does that pisses you off? Laziness is my biggest turn off. It like sends me. I hate lazy people. That's strong. <laughs> I hate. I, I don't hate lazy people. I hate when people are lazy. For me, it's like if someone doesn't have ambition. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like ambition is my turn on. Laziness is my turn if on. If you have goals, if you're working every day towards something, mm -hmm. if you have motivational things that you do, yeah. I don't care to keep if you're working every day to, to be the lowest paying job ever. As long as you're no, trying. As long as you're trying, and yeah. you work every day to make it the best day for you. Yeah. What's your biggest turn off? That's like. Um, Oh my god, I did this on my story one day. Girls, what's your biggest ick? So, okay, so like an ick isn't a turn off. Your ick is like that random dumb thing that you think is like annoying and gross that ruins that someone you for you. just die. What was that? Oh, the light, the light just died. Just died. Wait, why? Did it, it didn't even really change anything. No. That's okay, it's fine. Um, mine is, my, I have two things. My first thing is when guys use like baby talk. Oh. Like if they talk like, no. Mm. <laughs> throw up. Also, also I despise pet names. Oh my god, if you call me like pumpkin, sweetheart, angel, literally the last guy I dated, who by the way is an angel, I literally called him an angel. Um, there was a point where he he like called me. I drank one night and I got really feisty because he would always call me these sweet names. And I literally one night was like, call me Brit, <laughs> call me my, my name. Oh my god, Brittany. I was like, my name is Brittany. I can deal with like. Baby, and that's it. And that's rare. I like, I have a small I list. That. What's your list? What's okay? It's like, baby's fine, babe's fine, bubs is fine. Um, if you say pumpkin, what If you say muffin, <laughs> I will die. There, dude, one, hey. one of the guys I was seeing would call me muffin, and every time, I just didn't want to tell him because I didn't want to bruise his ego. Because honestly, I should have because his ego needed to be bruised. But, oh. <laughs> no, T. <laughs> T. Um, Ugh. Um, but anyways, he would call me muffin sometimes and I was just like, every time he would do it, I'd be like, Ugh. like but when I, when I'd see the text, but then I would just act like it didn't. Don't you wish me. guys would be like, do you like when I call you that? So you could just nix so it I could early. Just, yeah. So that I don't want to hear it ever again. Cause, Cause you feel like a real a-hole. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel like a B if I like <laughs> say like, oh, He's going don't right. call me that. I know, like I was, I was drunk and sassy when I said it, so I feel like it was acceptable. But like, if my man, like my boyfriend, if he was like, oh, "Hey, queen, how's it going?" If he texted me that, I'd be like, "I'm sorry, what?" <laughs> yeah, like that's like what your I'm sorry, male uh, BFF what? says to you or your girlfriend. I did not think that wine was gonna be at all strong. I got this. I got this. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. You got it. Let's go. If you enjoyed this video of Michaela and I in the nonsense um please definitely give it a thumbs up why did the screen just get darker not sure I don't know. please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already and of course turn on the freaking notification bell if you want to hang out with michaela and i when she comes in town because i have a feeling i'm gonna be dragging her here regularly also i'm Come gonna over to me too i'm gonna i'm gonna reconsider my hate of uh canada i don't blame you for hating canada 
But I'm gonna reconsider. Come over to my side of Canada. It's I'm gonna a come to Canada. Yes. It's a little different. I'm gonna try again. I'm not gonna nix Canada as a whole because Mihaela's there, so it can't be that bad, you know? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, let me know your favorite part about this video. I would love to know. And I will leave Michaela's channel down in the description for you guys to definitely check her out. We love her, we adore her. And I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> We're done.